Good morning, brother. I hope you're doing well. Let me read your comment. And then Jesus died on the cross, making it possible to be forgiven of sins. So I know we've been going back and forth via comments, respond to you with a video so I could show you the verses within 1 Corinthians chapter 7 that where Jesus Christ speaks through Paul to the church. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. And unto the married, I command, yet not I, but the Lord. So it's Jesus Christ speaking here. Let not the wife depart from her husband. Mind you, he's talking to the church of Corinth here. So this is a standard that all churches are to, commanded to follow according to the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 11. But, and if she depart, let her remain unmarried or go back to your husband and let not the husband put away his wife. Luke 12, 51, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. Luke 12, 52, for from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The church has lost its way. Christianity has become that broad and wide way which leadeth to destruction. It is no longer following the commandments of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. They are literally producing today within the church serial adulterers and adulteresses, proving that they may profess to know him with their lips but yet they deny him with their works. When it comes down to a man that comes to the knowledge of the truth by hearing the gospel, faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God, and the Holy Spirit goes into him, changing his heart and delivering him from the power of Satan unto the power of God and to serve God and be about his father's business. And he's with a, Mary, uh, he's with a woman that was divorced or let's say a divorced woman, single mom, and he married this woman. It's gonna bring division within his household because he's going to be shaken to the core of what he's doing the what he's with a woman that is a let's just say in this example a single mom and her the father of her children liveth so this is the power of god right this is not something a man would do on his own why would he uh you know shake his whole home down like that uh it's god that will prove that man and that man will, and that house will inevitably be divided because of the power of God, which Jesus Christ expresses in those uh, verses that I shared with you. What can we do to get on the right path? For starters, no church should marry, um, remarry a man or woman that is divorced. You get married once and that's it. Unless adultery takes place in regards to the woman is the only time a man can divorce his wife legally and not be in violation of the commandment according to Jesus Christ. However, for the woman, that is not the case. If a man were to have sexual relations outside of the marriage, so that she can't leave, she can, he still suffers the consequences of no longer having a husband to satisfy those human fleshly desires, right? So she is still called to remain celibate if she chooses to leave her husband. Uh, which is obviously profound in regards to the commandment of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which would make the argument that Jesus Christ would prefer you to be in a polygamous situation than to go out here and remarry as a woman, uh, which you would be, you would cause the man that remarries you to be in adultery along with yourself or fornicate, right? If that's the two options to remarry or fornicate, he would rather you stay with your husband, even though he has done uh, this deed. So, uh, just uh, for starters, I'm not judging anyone. At the end of the day, the word of God is what judges all of us, and we shall all be judged according to it. We're all guilty. No one's perfect. We're, we're all, at the end of the day, considered adulterers and adulteresses, uh, regardless whether we're in violation of the specific commandment that Jesus Christ said. We have lost our way as so-called Christians, and the churches are the ones that are supposed to be at the tip of the spear on this, yet they're silent. And uh, that explains why we have so many problems today in marriages uh, with children being born out of wedlock, the dynamic between men and women becoming extremely undesirable for most men that are out here trying to find a wife, etc. So it's pretty bad, but that this is my point. I'm not judging anyone. We're all guilty according to the law. We need to come out and say the truth according to the word of God.